I had a chance to speak with Anna Escobedo Cabral and Alexandra Galindez about the report and uh, also understanding the rules of the wealth game and how to create long-term financial security. Take a look. Uh, we, we noticed that there were um, some real distinct differences between the Hispanic community and, um, and non-Hispanics. I think the first one, the one that was most glaring, was really the lack of access to the information. Um, from an industry pr uh, perspective, there really hasn't been a huge outreach historically, so the information hasn't been there. It's not a part of the DNA of the community to really actually take a proactive role in financial planning, so that's a huge opportunity. Access to um, workplace retirement plans is also um, lacking within the Hispanic community. And even when that access is there, the contribution of the Hispanic employee to that plan um, really lags that of the total population. So those were um, some of the key findings that are really distinct to this uh, community in particular. Were, were they surprising findings? I mean, is this something that you know most people w weren't really aware of? Kimberly, if I, if I can comment on that. I, sure. I think it was essentially that uh, the, the focus on, of the Latino community on family was not a surprise. But what was really encouraging and a, a great finding and surprising to me was that Latinos are anxious and eager for information from professionals. They don't often get a call from a professional financial planner, but if they do get the call, they're anxious for that information and they're happy to receive it and as receptive as the general population. So what the study reveals is that Latinos have a particular focus on family. We all do, but they, they seem to be you know, incredibly focused on the short-term needs of the family. Mm -hmm. So they're looking at issues related to education for children. Uh, they're living in multi-generational families where they have to consider the needs of the parents or the grandparents. And so because of that, they've not had the time or the discipline or the information they need to be able to think about long-term planning. And one of the things that goes by the wayside very quickly is planning for retirement. So we all know that you should probably start planning for retirement. Not all of us are good at it, but as, you know, as soon as you get your first job, right out of college or right out of high school, uh, very few of us actually engage in that and even fewer, fewer Latinos. But if we can help them understand that just by putting a little bit of a, uh, aside every single month as early as possible uh, and making that you know a, a solid commitment that they don't break, uh, they're gonna be much better off in the long term and they're still gonna meet the needs of their family because they will no longer potentially be a burden on their children, but rather they'll be able to support themselves together with the uh, amounts of money that they might get from Social Security. No, that makes, <clears throat> excuse me, that makes perfect sense. Um, <clears throat> for people watching right now, what can they do today to change the path they're on. Um, so one of the um, key action items that we're really trying to encourage the Hispanic um, community to take is actually go to our website, uh, prudential.com forward slash Hispanics. Um, on that site will be revealed all of the study findings in both English and Spanish. And there will also be the opportunity to actually reach out to an advisor um, to try and get a consultation um, if, if need be. That's the first step. I think the second step is really to be proactive um, put together a, a budgeting exercise and at least be conscious of the fact that a plan needs to be developed.